Hi, welcome to the video. I'm Mike Falco's Flips. I'm a part-time reseller based in Northwest England. So this video is a long one. It's the longest video I've done, but I really wanted to kind of get it out in one go rather than putting like part two, part three. I probably could have made this into like three different videos, but I put it in one. It's from the first week the charity shops reopened. I've already done the first day in a separate video. That's its own separate video. I thought it was worth its own video because it had some good stuff, good pickups. And uh, the rest of the week, so three further days, so the Tuesday, the Wednesday, and the Friday, um, I have done, I went and hit a load more charity shops. So this is all that footage, all condensed into one. I've done a little kind of roundup at the end of each day of what I've bought. Also, very quickly, the music I've used, it may not be to everyone's taste. I've tried to use the mixture, so therefore to kind of cater for everyone. And I have to use music. It's either that or it's going to be quiet, you know, dead silent, because there's copyright music in almost every shop. Whenever there's not copyright, copyright music, I do leave the audio in. Yeah, the music I use, I don't just pick anything. I kind of go through and I pick out all the decent tracks. I spend quite a lot of time doing that. It's still not going to be to everyone's taste. I personally am into all sorts of different music, as you can probably tell from my videos, from rap to rock to dance and everything in between. My partner Claire is with me on some of the footage, so if you see me talking to somebody, it is Claire that I'm talking to. I'm not just stood there talking to myself. Right, I'm going to pass you over to myself a couple of weeks ago down at Stanley Park Basketball Court for the beginning of the video. Let's go. Right, so hopefully I find lots of good stuff at the charity shops today. I am heading down to St. Anne's and Livam, which is like that direction, kind of, that direction. Uh, there's Livam and St. Anne's, and they both have some all right charity shops. I'd say St. Anne's was probably a little bit better than Livam. They're both kind of more expensive, but you do sometimes find some higher end stuff there. How much is your Lego table in the window? 99 pence. Is it? Everything's 99p. Oh, right, okay. Well, we will definitely take it then. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I'll, yeah, I'll, gra I'll grab it.
that's like something from Studio Ghibli. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it is. Does that not mean it might be alright? We all know how important it is to protect our planet. By shopping with Bottle UK, you're helping to give nearly new and free life items a new home and prevent quality clothing, books, furniture, and more from ending up in landfill. Thank you for helping us take care of our environment and support the UG for distance and guidelines when shopping with us. For more details, thank you. Warpath, I've never heard of that. Jurassic Park Warpath. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Yes, please.
I don't, I don't know. I think they would fit me though. Okay. You're not allowed to try them on still? Yeah. I, don't I don't think so. Mm. That Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Panda. Potato. Oh, yeah. oh, no. well, that's, okay. the, uh, that's just coming to tell you there's no price in it. One of the £10 comics, John. So we just got back from St Anne's. We found some decent stuff there. Didn't get time to go to Livam. We're going to go there tomorrow, probably, tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to head home now, grab some lunch, and then go. I'm going to go out to another couple. Or I might, I might have a sort through what I've bought and, and kind of do a bit of filming as to what I've bought and maybe even get some photographs because our hallway is just full it's just full of stuff right now so i might do that or i might just head to a couple that are fairly close by do them and then come home
So nothing in that one and only one item in the, the other one. So I think that's probably going to be it for me for today. If I've got time, there's one near my home, which I'm going to quickly go to, which wasn't open yesterday. We said it was open, but there was nobody there. So I'm guessing they're on lunch or something. So I'm going to go and view that and then that'll be it. That'll be the last one for today. Hey guys, so I'm just wondering if the tip shop is open at the moment so let's uh let's stop by and see shall we excuse me excuse me you're right is the tip shop open at the moment yeah Okay, so yeah, don't forget about your tip shop because there's some decent stuff in there. If I had more time, I could have spent a good hour in there going through everything. But I got this, brand new sealed, just recently sold this exact same one 
for about 14 pounds plus postage paid a pound i got these because we don't have any dominoes and these are the ones i had growing up as a kid i'm not that old <laughs> i think these are from like the 60s 70s i'm not that old but these are the ones that we had a pound for them and also probably the best find could be a really good one but i'm not sure yet is this it's like a large garden planter but the best thing is and you might not be able to clearly see but it is this brand which I, i'm not sure how i can't quite make out what it says here but it's um the same as a lot of the romtoffs and it's made in west germany so it's you know 80s at least and it's got some good weight to it after a clean i think this will be worth quite a bit of money i reckon we'll get i reckon we'll get i don't know it's hard to say if i have to predict it off the top of my head i'd say at least 40 for it but maybe a bit more that was four quid for that so yeah not too bad at all so that's definitely it for today but i will um be out, back out there again tomorrow getting some more stuff okay so it's tuesday and this is what we've picked up today really happy with this today seemed to be like the fragile day we've got a load of fragile things for really good money i'm not gonna go massively in depth with this stuff let's just have a very quick initial look at it so over here we have a load of prince philip related things some of them are pretty old pretty rare i think after initial look some things not so much there's a book here it's quite common and they go for about 10 quid but i paid what about 13 pounds for the lot so i thought it might it might do okay it might not we'll see if not it's kind of a nice thing to have i think and we've got a jigsaw puzzle here this was from the tip shop that was only a pound it's brand new sealed and i've recently sold the exact same one for about 13 14 pounds plus postage and we've got this cookie jar i used to buy these from home bargains a couple of years ago i bought up like loads and loads of them brand new and they were selling for not crazy money but i think they were going for about 18 pounds 18 to 20 but they were about five or six pounds to buy so you know the profit wasn't amazing on them but I think they're really nice they're it's a nice cookie jar we've got a load of ceramics load of ceramics we've got a bread bin they've reduced it down to two pounds it's in good condition uh this we've literally just sold this uh, it's an mns uh like wide kind of cookie jar and we recently just sold it for 30 pounds plus postage they were asking I think it was £1.50, it might have been £2 on it. So, you know, then this is in better condition than the one we've just sold. So we should be able to get £30 again for that, no problem at all. Um, and then just a few kind of random bits. We've got a few video games. I found this, which is very kind of like random. And is anybody ever going to want this? I don't know, 99p, thought I'd give it a go. This always comes in handy for when you get guitars. That was a pound. Uh, this game is okay. If it's the original and not this EA Classics version, then it goes for quite good money. I couldn't really find any of these EA Classic versions out there. So, but generally speaking, they're not worth quite as much as the original version. But there might still be some decent money in it. Three pounds fifty on that. This was 50p. There's a couple of sold listings out there for between like 10 and 15 pounds. So yeah, that should go okay. And then I think the star buy will be this. It's like a outside planter, but it's a vintage made in West Germany one by a brand that I can't think of off the top of my head, but they make a lot of old vintage ceramic like rum toffs and vases and their stuff usually goes pretty well and it's in good condition needs a bit of a clean but i paid four pounds for it from a tip shop and again i don't know exactly how much but i reckon if at least 40 50 quid maybe more so yeah really happy with that day two day two done so i hope everyone out there has done okay 
you're managing to find some decent stuff. If not, keep going, I'm sure you'll get some good stuff. Here we go, day three of the charity shops. Offer decline is my guess. That's quite a good one, isn't it? Not Thank <laughs> you. 
So today we did charity shops from about half nine till about half eleven. So only a couple of hours and this is what we picked up. We got these tea, sugar and biscuit jars. These were £1.99 each. They're M&S and in good condition. Hard to say exactly what they would sell for but I reckon this will go for at least 25 plus postage. And then these maybe 20, 25 thereabouts plus postage on them. This is a bread bin or bread crock. It's nothing too special about this one to be honest, but it's just a plain kind of simple design in good condition. Um, I think this one was 199 as well. It might have been 299, certainly wasn't more than that. And then this one as well, this is like a more of a kind of traditional style one, um, like heavy, like really heavy ceramic. Uh, like stoneware uh, this one again either 199 or 299 can't remember off the top of my head but either way you know it's a good price i think these will probably go for about 30 to 40 plus postage on them uh, this was 5.99 i think this is only worth about 17 18 pounds so I'll, I'll make just about 10 pounds plus postage on that this is a Disney 3D style mug. These usually go fairly, fairly okay. I've not had this particular one before, but I've had a similar one before that went for okay money. Now, £1.99, I'll have to have a look into it. You know, the Disney mugs can vary massively from 10 to like 20, 30 pounds if you've got a rare one, or even a bit more. And we've got this, which is not quite vintage, but it's from like the early 2000s. There might be a bit of money in this. I think it's an American thing that's like been imported or something. And that's it. I don't think that's too bad. For the like two hours that we spent, that's pretty good, really. So we might not do any charity shops tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But we will be doing some on Friday for definite. And I really need to spend a bit of time getting some stuff photographed, listed, and getting a, a video out. Right, fast forward to Friday. Okay, this is Friday, here we are in Cleveland's and I'm just gonna hit all the shops up this way today. I might do a few others as well, we shall see. So I'm gonna put you on my chest mount and let's go.
See most of the Disney plush and stuff's yeah. gone. Yeah. Excuse me, is this twelve? Is this twelve? Twelve, is it? Or two? I don't think that's their price. Oh right. I think it, it'd be less than that. I would have thought. Oh yeah, there's that so. Yeah, yeah. They the usually pretty pretty good in there with the prices. So yeah, yeah. It definitely won't be as much as that. Oh, I just wanted to have a quick look at these because there might be bits missing this time. Look at that for a... Oh, I've never heard of that guy. No, look at that one. Exp exploration. I mean, I'm, I'm, I think I'd get them just for the look of the boxes. More, yeah. got careful of the bits of her. So I'd just get them. I mean, they're a bit rough around the edges, but... Not bad, is it? That's better than twelve ninety nine, isn't it? <laughs> Antler, yeah. decent brand, isn't it? Not like high high end. Decent. Yeah. 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 I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, had me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel like The nose. Oh, oh, it's a subtle one. No, no. 250. They're all sad like that, aren't they, pretty much? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen one with quite such an evil looking face before. Brown Thomas. I'm not finding him, but I, I, he's got these yeah, tags, and I, I quite like him. I forgot to mention this, I got this as well the other day, uh, this was 99p, yes, 99p for this, um, it's not like a proper table as such, it's like a, well it's like a lap table, you put it on your lap to build and stuff, um, there was a bit of damage, but then inside, we've got a load of Lego got a few random bits as well, I mean, what's that, I don't know, but there's actually some proper Lego, some proper minifigures in here, Lego horse, a few little bits in there, not a lot, but you know, 99p, 
These dock will go for crazy money. They go for about about 20, 25 thereabouts. Um, I thought it would have been a bit more than that, but you know that seems to be the kind of market value on it. So here's what we picked up today. This is from about four hours worth of looking around. Here we have a Harrods Bear. This is from 2004. I've not looked up how much it's worth, but generally speaking, I find they go for at least £20. So hopefully I've got a rarer one and it'll go for a bit more than that. But if it goes for £20, that's fine with me. And we've got these trains. Some of these trains are okay. These, um, what they're called, Golden Bear. Now, they're not worth like crazy money, but I tend to find them fairly often. And I didn't really think there was much money in them. Um, but we kind of accumulated a load for our kids, but they don't really, they never really played with this particular type. We, we have like the smaller type that you use on wooden track and that's the type that they play with. This type they never play with, but there seems to be, there are people out there that, that like these. Um, some of them are from the 90s, some of them are from like the early 2000s. Doesn't really matter what, which ones, but like some of the rarer kind of characters can go for, for better money. Uh, but generally speaking, I lock them up and sell them like that. And then we've got some Luminark glasses here, four of for 50p each. So, you know, two quid into them. These, these seem to go okay. Uh, generally speaking, like clear glass ones, don't usually bother with, but I've just sold 10 of these for 30 pounds plus postage. So, you know, to get four for two quid, definitely happy to do that and then we've got this cookie jar here this has actually been in the, that shop since before lockdown i nearly picked it up then but today i did three pounds fifty it's a sainsbury's one it's a like a current one that they sell i don't think there's a crazy amount of money in it but if you get some good photographs it doesn't always matter too much like you know places can be selling it for less than what you you put on it but you know they might not be listing it very well it might not be on ebay at all you know that kind of thing I, I think it will go for good money it's really it's nice it's a nice color nice ceramic perfect condition cookie jar so i paid three pounds fifty for that uh, these this and this i've mentioned these before they are oh, i'm just wrecking the place my railway pals sometimes they say that underneath sometimes they don't i don't really know what that's about but these are 50p each so 50p each these trains are all 50p each um, but usually a, a couple together, like 10 to 15, depending on what characters you have. If you've got a rare character, they can go for more. I've got this, this one, I, I don't know if there's much money in this or not. Brown Thomas, I'm guessing that's some kind of like suit shop or kind of men's outfitters or something. I don't really know, but £3.50, I thought I'd give them a go. Couldn't find any on eBay. Here we have a Marks and Spencer's cookie jar. Yeah, I recently sold a very similar one for £30 plus postage. I also picked one up for £2 the other day from a charity shop. Um, I saw this one. I'd actually seen this previously and, and left it. But um, I thought, you know, four quid if I can get anything like 30, then we're doing well. So for four quid, I picked it up. It's in good condition, just needs a really good clean. Uh, these nappies, they were in a supermarket and there was four lots of them and they were selling them off cheap. I think I paid about three pounds per pack, and yeah, I'm not really sure. I thought that they might one day have some money in them. They're kind of Justice League nappies. Yeah, I, I don't know. I took a bit of a gamble on these. I've seen people pick up nappies before, mainly part-time pickers. I don't know if anybody follows him on uh, YouTube, but he picks up usually vintage kind of nappies seem to do quite well for him. But I think sometimes these kind of unusual limited edition things it, it doesn't always matter what it is something like this is obviously a limited run and maybe they're not going to be worth crazy money now but they might be worth good money in a few weeks or a few months when they stop selling them i've got this here which is a star kind of theater well star theater 2 planetarium um not really sure three pounds there were two on ebay both in america and they were asking about 23 to 28 pounds each, but um, and in a pre-owned condition, same as this. So I reckon we can, you know, get at least 20 plus postage. I'd, I'd probably aim for quite a bit more. We've got this jigsaw here, which is an old vintage one. 
But this kind of design can do quite well, kind of like dragons and sorcery and all that kind of thing, fantasy type type stuff. Uh, Two pounds fifty, and I don't know. I don't think there's crazy money in it. Maybe fifteen to twenty, something like that. It's new sealed, but it's a bit kind of rough around the edges. We've got a couple of vintage board games. This one's called Scoop. This one's called Exploration. There were three pounds each. And then I guess this one is vintage as well. This is this is like the one I grew up with from like the 90s, kind of early 90s, I think. Um, three pounds on each of them. This one, I had like the slightly earlier version. They were going for about 20, 25 pounds. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but for three pounds, definitely worth a go. And then these two, I don't think there's crazy money in them. I'd look this one up and if it's in good condition, which this box is kind of a bit rough, and so is that one actually. But even so, 15 to 20 at least, I think I can get more. And obviously, something like this, I might hold out to maybe Christmas or something. It'd make a good gift. I don't know. I'll probably stick them up high. If they sell, they sell. If not, I'm sure they'll sell come like Christmas. Um, I just really like this kind of, I mean, look at this design. I'm surprised it's not worth more. I mean, I know there's, there was probably loads and loads of them made, but it's definitely got some good age to it. I think it was on the 50s. Let's have a look. Yeah, so 1955 now. That doesn't necessarily mean that was the year it was made, but it's more than likely around that time. So, you know, 1955, that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty, pretty old. What about this one? Alright, oh, so that one's 1970. Obviously I'm going to have to have a good look through, check everything's here. Yeah. Don't know, it's hard to say. At least we've got some instructions here, so hopefully there's like a list of what should be in here. But again, just check out this box. And lastly, we have this, which is a sheepskin coat. It's not like the most desirable color ever. Usually like the lighter ones I find go better, but even so, you know, for $4.99, it is pretty good. I sold the sheepskin coat, when was it now? Beginning of this year, end of last year, can't remember exactly, but that went for good money. That went to somebody in over in Berlin in Germany. Um, over hundred pounds. I can't remember exactly how much it was now, but good money on that. Um, this one is not going to go for as much, I don't think. Obviously, I will look into it, see if I can find any out there by the same maker. But you know, it says there, genuine sheepskin, made in England. And there is a brand there. And that's it. I'm, again, re really happy with that. Really happy. I went out today not really expecting too much. I kind of figured, you know, it's a Friday. We've had the whole week of people going into all these shops. So I went to the first few shops and I was thinking it's not going to happen for me today. There wasn't anything really in the first few. And then suddenly got to the shop with these board games. And then after that, we just kept finding stuff everywhere. So, yeah, really good. And so tomorrow is the first car boot sale of the year for me. It's a Saturday. I'm going to the Saturday one. Right, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for making it through to the end. I really do appreciate it. I know it was a longer video. I don't like making them this long. My next few videos won't be this long. But... I didn't want to make it like a two, three parter, anything like that. I wanted to get all as much as I could into the video and it not be too long. It was originally going on like an, an hour and 40 minutes, minutes of like footage that I thought was like good enough to make the video. And I just, and that's from hours and hours of footage that I actually had. I condensed it down to like an hour and 40 minutes and I was like, Nah, nobody, <laughs> it's like a feature film length. I'm like, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. So I just, um, I really kind of cut out everything I could. And it's come out about 50 minutes thereabouts, maybe 55 when I put my intro and my outro in. 
So I hope that's okay. I know it's long and I'm making it longer now by going on. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Give it up, give it up.